Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we are learning how to create a school flyer in Photoshop. So without wasting my time, let's jump straight into today's tutorial. First of all, click on File, Select New, Select Print, Choose A4 Size, Change the Millimeters to Pixels, Change the 8 bit to 16 bit, give it a name, and click on Create. After creating your artboard, what you do next is to open this main folder. So, as you can see, I arranged it according to the way I designed this particular beautiful flyer right over here. Okay, so let me turn off the main screenshot open the background and let me explain what I did right there. So first of all, I drew a rectangle. After drawing the rectangle, because somebody may ask, how did you draw the rectangle? Go for the rectangle shape. Let me create a new layer and let me draw something like this. Because I clipped it to the other side, that is why it didn't come. So as you can see, this is how your rectangle will look like. After drawing the rectangle, I imported this image on top of the rectangle. After importing the image, I select the image and right click on it. After right clicking on the image, I clipped create clipping mask. After clipping the image into the rectangle, so to get color balance, to get color balance, go to the adjustment panel. Select color balance and click on it. So let me double click on mine. As you can see, I applied the color balance to this particular image right over here. As you can see, my cyan is set to 19, my magenta is set to minus 4, and the yellow is set to plus 24. After that, under the highlights, the cyan is set to plus 1, the magenta is set to minus 6, the yellow is set to plus 17. After the highlight, I went to shadows. Under the shadows, the cyan is set to binance 2, the magenta is set to plus 21, and the yellow is set to plus 9. So after the color balance, what I did next was to create another rectangle. In this case, I created the rectangle to cover this place, the whole area. So I created something like this to cover the whole area of the artboard. After that, I imported this image and clipped it to my artboard. So after importing the image, I set the opacity to 26. So this is how the image looked like. After that, decrease the opacity to 26%. After decreasing the opacity to 26%, Decrease the fill to 80%. After decreasing the fill to 80%, you get a blendy image with this blue background. So this is how your image and your background color will blend. After that, we are done with the background. The next thing that we are coming to look at is the shapes. So let me quickly open the shapes folder. With the shape folder, what I started with is a rectangle. So I created this rectangle and I created another rectangle like this. So all of them, you go to your tool section where the rectangle tool is and you draw a minor or a small rectangle like this to make your work look really nice. After drawing the rectangle, I drew a circle and I added a stroke effect to it. So as you can see with the stroke effect, to get a stroke effect, double click on it or go to the FS, you see a stroke effect. I set the stroke size to 60, the opacity to 100% and the color to white. Somebody may ask why white, you will see at the end of today's tutorial. After that, I imported this image and clip it to the circle. So that is why the stroke is white right over there. After that, I created another circle. I imported my image and added the same effects to it. All 
okay after the shape after drawing the shape and inserting the image into them i added my logos to the flyer so i added a phone logo and a social media handle logos so with the social media handle logos i added the color overlay effect which is white so that it will blend with my flyer perfectly after that the next thing that i did was to add the test to my flyer so i typed all this information and added it perfectly or i aligned it perfectly on the flyer after that the next thing that i did is to press ctrl alt shift and made a screenshot of it and i went to come I, I converted it to a smart object after converting it to a smart object i went to filter and selected camera raw filter and after that when i double click on the camera raw filter you see the effects right over here so under the basic style these are the adjustments that i did so that to add a perfect beauty for my flyer so as you can see this is the before and this is the after so guys that is it or oh, this is how i created this flyer in photoshop thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe like and share my video thank you very much bye bye